Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a profitable DMAC crypto trading bot on the Quadensi platform. Now, if you're not familiar with Quadensi, it's an all-in-one crypto trading platform that you don't actually have to send any money to. You connect your current exchange accounts to the platform via API keys. And therefore, it's a non-custodial platform because they don't actually hold your funds for you. Your funds stay on your exchange and are as secure as they can be when being held on an exchange. They do offer about 35 different exchanges you can choose from to connect to the platform. But today we will be actually doing a deep dive into one of their 15 crypto trading bots. So if you're curious what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually get started for free. It doesn't cost anything to actually to deploy the bot that I will be deploying today other than your own funds you need to give the bot to trade with. But you don't have to pay Quadensi a membership fee to deploy that bot. You could do that with their light package. Now with that being said, I will show you how to upgrade to the pro account for free. And there are some benefits to having the pro account. And those benefits include back testing. You get 10 with the free account where you get 200 daily free back tests with the pro accounts. And then as far as the number of live bots that you can have running at the same time with the free account, you can only have two running at a time. With the pro account, you can actually have 20 bots deployed at the same time. And again, I will show you how to get that pro account for free simply by connecting one of your existing or a new exchange account to the platform. So for example, if you already have a Binance account, all you need to do is click on on the connect button and you will receive three months free of the pro account however if you don't have a binance account all you need to do is click on open and you'll actually get six months free of that pro account and i actually still need to connect my okx account to the quadensi platform and so by clicking on connect i would receive three months free of the pro account and obviously also another exchange i use is qcoin and I've actually already used my KuCoin and Binance exchanges to get the free pro account for a total of six months in the past. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to actually configuring the bot. Now, after you've joined the platform and you've connected some of your exchanges to the platform, you're ready to configure a bot. And so you'll come up to the menu at the top of the screen and where it says bots, you just give that a click. And you'll see a list of the available bots on the platform. And I did recently upload some videos on the deployment of one of their MACD bots and a update video on profit for that MACD bot. So you can check my playlist for the video on how to set up the MACD bot and the actual profit results for that MACD bot. Also, I've had some success with their Bollinger Bands bot, but today we'll be deploying the DMAC crypto trading bot. So all I need to do is click on select and that will jump me over to the configuration page. And I need to start with the parameters, which is the first choice in the menu across the top right here. And the first thing I need to do is name the configuration. So we'll just name this DMAC. And then I need to select my exchange. And in this case, I am going to use KuCoin. But as you can see, I have a variety of different exchanges I could choose from. But I'm going to use my KuCoin account. And under account, I just need to select the API keys that correspond to my KuCoin account. Now market, the pair I'll be trading is ADA USDT. But as you can see, you can trade a variety of coins from Bitcoin to Ethereum, I currently have a MACD bot deployed on Solana, but today I'm going with ADA USDT. Next, I need to give the bot some ammo, and in this case, I'm going to give it 500 USDT. And you can see my available balances. I do have around 2000 USDT available, so I won't have any problem funding this bot. And I don't actually hold any ADA on this exchange. Now, before we get too far into the weeds on the actual configuration, if you're not familiar with how a DMAC bot actually works, it's based on two or dual moving averages. 
and it actually will buy when the short-term moving average crosses above the long-term moving average and then it will sell based on your defined condition and one of those conditions is you could have it actually sell when the short-term moving average crosses down through the long-term moving average or in my case I will be going off of a profit percentage and a stop loss percentage for this particular bot so let's get to the actual strategy settings the first setting I need to select is my time frame and I will be going with the one hour candles as you can see, you can go anywhere from one minute all the way up to daily candles. I have actually back tested this strategy and I find the one hour candles perform the best with my particular settings. The next setting I need to configure is the long moving average period and I have selected 54 and then the short moving average period I have selected as 18 and what a moving average period is, it's the number of candles that that moving average will use to calculate the actual average movement during that time frame and so a 54 period moving average will go back 54 candles to come up with the average and then a short moving average period of 18 will go back 18 candles to come up with its moving average now my exit condition I do have two options I select profit target and stop loss however you could do it based on indicator information and again the indicator information is it would actually sell when your short moving average crosses down through your long moving average and after we run the back test I will actually show you what that would look like on a chart so stick with me if you're interested in seeing what that would actually look like on a chart and as I mentioned before I've run a few back tests on this strategy already and the exit condition of profit target and stop loss did perform best so I'm sticking with that and so now I need to actually determine my profit target and stop loss so my profit target will be 15% and my stop loss percentage will be 3% this will give me a risk versus reward ratio of 1 to five so I don't have to be right very often for this bot to be profitable and that's pretty much it for the required settings for this strategy the one hour candle time frame moving average on the long side is 54 my short moving average period is 18 my exit condition is based on profit target and stop loss with a profit target of 15 percent and a stop loss of three percent and so now we can actually run a back test on this particular strategy so I come up here to the back test button and and give it a click and I can select a time frame anywhere from a day all the way up to custom I typically run it over a one month period so I'll just select one month and click on start back test all right after a few minutes the back test is finished running and you can see the results we would have a 58.74 percent profit if we deployed this bot with these particular settings a month ago on ADA now I do want to make it clear that back test results don't guarantee future results and so going forward you may not actually see these results they could be less they could be more at the end of the day the market determines where the price action is going to go and so there's really nothing you can do about it other than try to give yourself the best opportunity to capture profits and minimize loss and a good way that I find to minimize loss is I don't trade crap coins I don't deploy bots on crap coins you'll see most of my bots are like on Bitcoin Ethereum ADA pretty much the top coins and the main reason why I don't trade crap coins is I prefer to trade coins I'm willing to hold on to for the long term so if I get stuck in a position of Bitcoin or Ethereum I'm fine holding that for two or three years same with ADA so I have no problems holding long term the assets that I'm actually trading so let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at how this bot actually executed the trades and we can zoom in here on the chart all right so I zoomed in and I also changed the color to the moving averages the blue line you see here is my long moving average which was a 54 period and the yellow line you see here is my short moving average which was the 18 moving average and the little green arrow you see back here indicates a buy for the bot and what actually triggered this buy was when the short moving average the 18 moving average crossed above the blue line 
line, which was my long moving average of 54, it placed a buy order and the price proceeded to run up. And then this red arrow here, the bot had achieved its 15% profit and so it sold. Now, if I had chose the indicator as the exit option, then I would have had to wait for the yellow line, the short moving average to cross down through the blue line, the long moving average. And that would have happened right back here in this area. And so I would have got out at the close of probably this candle, which might have given me a slightly bigger win than I had achieved. Now, if we scroll back and look at another trade right back here, you see the little green arrows, the buy signal. And that is when the yellow line, my short moving average of 18 crossed above the blue line, my long moving average of 54. And if I actually had the indicator as my exit option, the position would have been stopped on multiple occasions where you can see the yellow line dipping down below. This probably would have been a small loss. Again, it happens back here for perhaps a small win, but in the long run, I actually was able to ride this wave up to a 15% profit where you see the little red arrow over here and it actually exits at that point. And again, had I waited for the indicator to signal that exit, I would have had to wait for this crossover down and I would have taken a smaller win than I did on this 15%. So again, I'm not saying you need to copy my strategy. This video is actually more about how to set up a strategy and not how to copy my strategy. You need to do your own recon. You need to come up with your own risk management strategy and deploy the bot on how you're comfortable deploying the bot. But at the end of the day, for me, almost a 60% win rate over a one month period would be winning the battle. So I'm ready to go ahead and deploy this bot. So I just come over to start live. Give that a click and it will just want me to confirm what account I'll actually be using. And it was my KuCoin API keys. So now I just click on start live mode and you can see the DMAC bot has started the live mode and it will take a moment to initialize. And now the bot is live and that pretty much wraps it up. So if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. I will do a profit or loss update on how this bot is actually performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss that update video. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Quadensi in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.